Hey guys, what's going on? Jake Ryan is Epic here, and I'm going to be talking about Survivor Series 2003. This Survivor Series definitely closed out a lot of storylines. Uh, we saw the departure of Stone Cold Steve Austin, we saw the burial of, of the American Badass Undertaker, literally, and we saw Goldberg in his last world title defense, because he would then lose it at the next pay-per-view. So let's jump right in. Our first match was Team Angle versus Team Lesnar in a traditional Survivor Series elimination match. On Team Angle, it was John Cena, Hardcore Holly, Kurt Angle, Chris Benoit, and Bradshaw. And on Team Lesnar, it was Big Show, Nathan Jones, Matt Morgan, A-Train, and Brock Lesnar. Now, Team Lesnar was huge. I mean, huge. I mean, like, it's nearly... Mike Cole said it was nearly a ton. It was incredible. But Team Angle ended up winning with Chris Benoit and John Cena being the sole survivors. It was a pretty generic Survivor Series elimination match, but Hardcore Holly just went beast on Brock Lesnar in the opening. I mean, and Mike Cole said that Brock Lesnar broke his neck, so he had the immediate right to go beast on Brock Lesnar, just completely kick the crap out of him, but he got disqualified, so I guess it was just all for nothing. The next match was Lita versus Molly Holly for the women's title. Molly Holly ended up winning when she utilized the steel ring on the second turnbuckle to ram Lita's face into it, and she used the roll-up. The next match was Kane versus Shane McMahon in an ambulance match. Now, this Kane is incredible. He's a badass. Why can't we have this Kane, the, this, like, fall into flaming dumpsters and get, and run into tractor trailers? I mean, why can't we have this Kane, the one who will tombstone pile drive Linda McMahon? Why can't we have this Kane? Like, he just no-sells everything. Shane McMahon's trying to do all he can. Like, he does the leap of faith through the announce table, and he does the coast-to-coast -coast with the garbage can. He tries everything. But Kane wins with the tombstone pile driver on the outside, and he shoves Shane into the ambulance. This is definitely one of my favorite matches of the night. The next match was... Los Guerreros versus the Basham brothers for the WWE Tag Team titles. Now, the Bashams had this manager out there named Shaniqua who could probably beat me up. I swear to God. She has got delts. I mean, delts. Like, she's got the 24-inch pythons, brother. <laughs> but the Bashams ended up winning when Shaniqua distracted Eddie Guerrero and, they, and Doug Basham, I believe, did the roll-up. The next match was Team Austin versus Team Bischoff. Now this now Team Bischoff ended up winning when Randy Orton pinned Shawn Michaels after Batista Batista bombed Shawn Michaels. But Shawn Michaels definitely won through the entire match. Like he was bleeding, he was like concussed probably. But if you're going to pick a better way to put Stone Cold off the off the storyline, it was definitely this because Stoke Hold is not the type to, you know, just be like, I'm sorry, I'm too injured, I have to go, I'm sorry. He's not that type of guy. You you have to, like, end it in a match. I mean, I think WWE absolutely did it the right way with this. And the stunner on Jonathan Coachman at the end was pretty funny. The next match was Undertaker versus Mr. McMahon in a Buried Alive match. Now, Vince McMahon got the living crap out beaten out of him. Like, like, after one punch, he was already bleeding. And just, and Undertaker just did not care. He just beat the crap out of him with chairs and shovels. The shovel shot that Undertaker used on, this, on Mr. McMahon was phenomenal. I mean, you could hear it all the way to Florida. I mean, the show was in Texas, but you could hear it from where I was. That's like going around the world. I mean, but, but Vince ended up winning when Kane interfered and threw Undertaker into the grave and buried the Undertaker alive, which opened up another storyline at WrestleMania 20. Now, 
the main event was Triple H versus Goldberg for the World Heavyweight Championship. Now, this was a genius storyline. They put, they put a bounty on Goldberg that was cashed in by Batista. It was a genius story. I mean, Goldberg had to be looking over his shoulder. He was not the most dominant guy in the room. But it definitely made him look like the underdog. And he ended up winning with the spear and the jackhammer after he used the equalizer. Oh. <laughs> it was a good match. Uh, but thank you guys for watching this video. I enjoyed making these videos. We've, I've got 10 more of these to make, so I'm going to be mass producing these. Thank you guys for, jo for joining me. Like, comment, subscribe, follow me on all the social media outlets, and who's next?